So this is the Western Pullman set. Uh, next 18, as far as I'm aware, SEMO uh, decoders, one in each end, speaker in each end, uh, to give you that uh, stereo sound, as it were. The, uh, they're not interconnected, but they do function together, if you know what I mean. So they're not, you'll see what I mean anyway, but there's a different engine sound in each end. Uh, so you get, it doesn't sound like it's the same thing going past, if you know what I mean. They all have their own sort of tone. Uh, and also there's multiple horns on there as well, so that if you're heading in one direction, you get the sound of the horn from that. Uh, power car and when you go in the other way it's tuned slightly different from that power car so it's you know it's uh, and what was the sound and what were the sound files originated from these uh, as video? far as i'm aware yeah. <laughs> yeah, 4F. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as far as i'm aware it's a very clever bit of synthesis mm -hmm. because obviously no power units survive no nothing even remotely similar survives and even if a power unit did survive it wouldn't be sitting in one of them wouldn't have the same cooler group it's just there's no point so uh, as far as i'm aware it's been done from the ground up yeah. uh, in sort of a jean-michel jacques on brian eno fashion <laughs> with but, uh, no it's done a very good job actually uh, it's one of those things where you don't have one sitting there to compare it against yeah so just what a real thing yeah just like try to do that it's you're working through you No, know, we had to make a model from nothing. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least we had some drawings and a seat. So, uh, as usual with uh, our DCC sound fitted models, it will function on analog. So, you will get your running sounds on analog, you'll get your lights on analog, but of course, you won't get any of your function buttons on analog. Uh, usual caveat supply don't use it with a, a track cleaning module. Please don't use your H&M duet. <laughs> Sorry about that. You will have to use something like this. Usual level of functions that you we're starting to see a pattern of now in our releases, where, as always, uh, you get the lights coming on there with the zero. But you might be able to just hear the guard flicking the switch. We did. I did hear that. Yeah, a nice fade as well on the lights, all incandescent. There you go. Fantastic. So, uh, the startup sequence, uh, just consult the driver's manual here. So, first one starts up. And the second one starts up. So, you've got plenty of options with the driving on here. Those of you that are familiar with the Farish 40, uh, and have had a play with it, we'll know that the number of features in that uh, are quite similar to what we've got in here. So you've got the option when you're driving it to move the thing without increasing the sound of the engine taking power and also to hold the constant speed and just toggle the engine sound. So if you cater for all manner of scenarios, moving out the station or going up a big bank. So, uh, if you start the thing moving, so is that a time delay? That's just me moving through the notches on here. If, uh, it will drop back to idle again, and then you just apply a bit more power. Just take power in a controlled manner, and then if I drop it back one notch, it will return to idle. But then, if I be a bit more aggressive with the speed steps, Function 2 is your brake key, so you've got active braking. 
which if you don't want to stop the train, say you put it on speed step 20, the brake will act until it gets to speed step 20, and then in which case it will take the speed of that. Or if you want to stop the train, drop to zero and just feather function two. For a brake application. So what else have we got in here? Some horns, plenty of horns, loads of horns actually. And if you change direction. <laughs> That's the same function button. So it's just a single horn. So plenty of fun to be out there. Yeah, technically a demo, it's taken this long to start playing the other ones, isn't it? So again, same function button, totally different sound depending on which direction you're going in. So now useful functions. Uh, is if you just want to move the thing out of the side and you don't want the thing going to full power. So uh, you use the function 6, which will lock the engine side. So if I've got this right, it should move away without... firing up the engine. Just on tick over. Yeah. So... If I take function 6 off, it should fire back up again. And then as soon as I put the function 6 back on again, it pops back down to idle. So you, you toggle in the power there, basically. And also in the same respect, if I slow it down, and I put function seven on it, just the opposite. So I'm now, instead of controlling speed with the throttle, I'm controlling the engines. And if I take seven out, it's like I've got to go back. Put it back on again. So, got me a place to be out there. Plenty of other functions as well. Function 8 is table lamps. We might just be able to make out what they've come on. So, table lamps are on a separate function. You turn the interior lights off. Okay. You turn the lights on. Save the lights on. <laughs> Isn't that romantic? <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so yeah, save the lights on a separate function, which is nice. Yeah. So <laughs> the usual culprit function nine, flying squeal. Another one of the many horns. That's a a latching one. That. Uh, and you can also put the leading cab light on by its function 11, hopefully. Maybe, ah, no, it doesn't come on when it's moving. It's very safe, this thing. <laughs> can't, can't have your leading cab light on while it's in motion. There you go. <laughs> Meets all regulations. So you've got lots of other little bits and bobs like the spy racks, valves, uh, your fan, there's a uh, driver's door open, driver's door slam. We've got guard's whistle, which of course is from the back cab. It's quite noticeable on a train even at this length, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Uh, and, and more horns, you can never have too many horns. So, yeah. There you go, that's pretty much it. One more little bonus we've put in is actually the auxiliary engines, which were not in the power cars, they're under the kitchen cars. Uh, but, due to the nature, you can only just make them out. But you could probably not hear them unless you were sitting above them in, in the real thing anyway. But you can, you can hear them, they are there. Yeah. 